Hello, and welcome to Lean Excel Solutions. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this dynamic budget versus actual chart in Excel. First, let's have an overview. Here is the input data, which has the first name column. You can change it at your convenience based on the purpose of using this graph. The second column is budget or plan or target. The third column is actual. And the last column is percent achievement, which is nothing but the actual divided by budget. Suppose the target sets for 75%. The percent achievement greater than or equal to 75% is indicated by a green and less than by a red. The graph is plotted such as the lowest achievement is at the beginning and the highest at the end. The red area of bar indicates the gap between the target and the green indicated that the target exceeded. Now, let's see how this chart is fully dynamic. First, if we change the target, this will shift automatically with it. Second, if we change any value in the budget or actual column, the position of that name will change automatically according to the new position. Third, if we add or delete any entry in this list, it will get updated in this graph and at the correct position. Please note, to make this chart fully dynamic, I have used the sort and sort by functions, which are available in the Office 365 subscription and not in the older version of Excel. So, to use it in the older version of Excel, there will be some manual work and which is explained at the end of this video. Some of the tools and formulas are explained in detail in an earlier tutorial, like offset function, name manager, linking graph to the dynamic range, etc. You can watch it by clicking here. Also, the link is in the description below and at the end of this tutorial. So, let's get started. Copy this table, open new workbook, and paste it. Let's convert these columns first to dynamic range using offset function. Let's copy this formula for budget and actual and change the column number only. Before calculating the percent achievement, first, let's copy these budget and actual formulas to name manager. Now, the percent achievement is actual divided by budget. To sort it dynamically, let's use the sort function. These columns are no longer required, let's delete them. To sort this column, let's use the sort by function. Let's copy these formulas too, to the name manager.
After this, we have to create three more columns. One for the target and two reference columns. Here we will write target percent. And this is the formula for target. Let's copy it to name manager. Reference column 1 is, if the target is greater than or equal to achievement, then achievement, else target. Reference column 2 is, if the target is less than achievement, then achievement, else NA. Let's copy these formulas too, to the name manager. Alright, we created the required dynamic ranges for the graph. Now, let's add the chart and link it. Go to Insert, click on the bar chart. Right-click on it and click on Select Data. We have to add five series. Three for the bar graph, that is Target, Reference 1 and Reference 2. And two for the line chart target and achievement. So let's do it. Let's update the label range too. To change the target and achievement to line graph, go to chart design, click on change chart type and change it to line. Let's change the bar colors. This one to green. This to red. And this one to blue. Now, right-click and go to Format Data Series, and change the series overlap to 100%. We have to adjust the position of these series. So that, these green bars will hide behind the blue ones. So, go to Select Data again, and click on Reference 2, and move it up. The graph is ready now, let's format it quickly.
As I mentioned earlier, this graph will work for an Office 365 subscription. For other versions, I have created this file. The link to download this file is in the description below, which has both the charts in it. Now the chart is linked with this column, instead of using dynamic range. Let's understand the difference between earlier and this one. If we change the target here, it will reflect in graph. But if we change any value, the graph will look like this. We have to sort this by the percent achievement column. And if you delete any entry, there will be no issue. But if you add it at the end, it will not be included in this graph. So there are two ways to do it. First, change the range manually, like this. And sort it again. And the second, add a row in between the range and sort it. The second one is preferable, as it takes less effort. You can just copy the last entry, paste it above, and add the new entry in the last row. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, if you have not yet subscribed. Thanks for watching.